what's up, vloggers, vlogs, vlog people. Today is Sunday. I am actually vlogging on the same day that I uploaded my nighttime routine. But getting back on track with the Sunday uploads. Can I get a round of applause, please? Today has kind of been a lazy day. <laughs> Let's just go see why I have for just a minute. I just need to show you guys what's up with him today. Can you explain this sandwich? All right, Vlad, so we've got... Hold on, I gotta flip it around. We've got one slice of sharp cheddar. Not Gouda. Not Gouda. Because Gouda isn't good. Or mild cheddar, no. Sharp cheddar, all right? We've got seven slices of honey ham, all right? On each? On each sandwich, so that's 14 total. Okay. One more slice of sharp cheddar over here. Not Gouda, not mild, sharp cheddar. <laughs> and then a good amount, just, just kind of circular motion of mustard. Probably, I'd say about 0.73 ounces on each sandwich of mustard. Okay. And two lumptious, fluffy loaves of whole grain bread. Are you gonna, I know, but do you put this one on top? Yeah, I just like, oh. to, I just like to admire it for a second. So then what you do is- You just like to what? Admire it for a second. So then oh. you put the bottom, bottom loaf on so that you get this nice oh. fat. Mm-hmm. And then you just kinda. Thank you so much for this tutorial. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you guys make this below. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are we doing today? Reboot for a minute. We just took a nice little, nice little nap. So we're gonna reboot and then we're gonna go Bitch. try out a couple new lures I got. Bitch. Hopefully Bitch. catch a couple piggies. Big old piggies. Why it calls big fish piggies? Is that weird? Because I think it's weird. It's not weird. Okay, well, I think it's weird. <laughs> mm -mm. It's so cute. I'll see you guys in the next clip. We're gonna just play some video games before we go fishing. Wyatt! Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Put on whatever you want. This is a typical any kind of outing that wide and I go to, I'm always sitting, wait, 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 waiting. <gasps> yes, I am. And then he always asks me what to wear. Like it could be to church or it could be to go fishing. Like it doesn't matter what we wear to go fishing. It does Why? I need to put on something long so I don't get bit by a, if I get bit by a snake, maybe I won't die. Well, if I get bit by a snake, I will die because I'm in leggings, so. What's up, vlog? So we're about to go fishing and I'm excited. See, they eat prosciutto. <laughs> right now we're headed to our little fishing spot. Every time we go, we catch more than five fish easily, right? Oh yeah, I mean, today we might catch about 10 because I'll actually be able to fish. What is that supposed to mean? I always let you fish. What can I say? I'm <laughs> What's neat is you can literally see, like that's not grass, that's the water. That's how clear it is. So you can actually see the fish and cast out to the fish, which is kind of neat. But yeah, look at all this. It's just crazy, it's so pretty. And it's a gorgeous day today. And all the leaves are starting to change so it looks like fall. Oh, let me show you guys the view. <laughs> Yeah, Why? What are you looking? At? I see them piggies in there. He sees them piggies in there. Well, let me show you guys the view. How gorgeous is that? Those aren't mountains, y'all. Yes, we are in Texas. There's also like a million little baby froggies that just jump around the place and jump in puddles, and they're so cute. I'm talking about the little. <laughs> I'm talking about the baby froggies. Oh. Yeah. oh. 
Look at this fishy and this boy. You need your pliers? Oh no. Barely got him. Wow! Smile. Oh no! Throw him back. He caught the first fish of the day. His lucky lure that I found him last night at Bass Pro Shops is coming in clutch, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, now it's my turn to catch it with my pink pole. I'll show you guys my pink pole. Here's my pink pole. Wyatt said that we're gonna, that I'll probably catch him with this lure, but we'll see. Y'all, this is like his third fish in the last five minutes. Aw, he's a cute one. Now there's a monster like right here. So what do you think? I don't know if we won this one. Why? I feel like we left a lot out there on the field. <laughs> I, think we, I think we didn't execute as well as we could have. I'm like so short, it's hard to get you in the vlog. What's up guys? But, so, when Wyatt was um, fishing, he saw and ate like a huge bass or whatever. Last week we caught like probably a six, six and a half pound bass. Shayla posted it on her Instagram. Y'all could go look at it, but I saw, and I saw that one like when I was trying to catch it, I could see it swimming through the water. And this one was definitely bigger. But I was, see like that something just jumped right there. You could see all the ripples. But anyway, uh, I think it was a pretty successful fishing trip. We each, caught, we each caught some fish and yeah. So now I'm getting hungry, so we'll probably go get something to eat. Good morning, guys. It's obviously the next day. I um, stopped vlogging after we went fishing and <clears throat> kind of glad that we did because Wyatt and I ended up having such a great day yesterday. So currently right now I'm heading to work and I just kind of wanted to talk about something I'm not going to go into any details or anything, but, um, number one, and, and obviously like this is kind of like a no brainer, but be kind to everybody, be nice to everybody because you have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. You have no idea what's going on in their lives. You don't know why they're unhappy. You don't know. Just always be kind, always smile, always say good morning. You might make somebody's day by just asking or giving them a compliment in life. Not everybody's going to like you. And like it sounds like duh well Shayla duh but it's honestly it kind of takes a toll on you when when you're so kind and you try to make an effort to be nice to everybody but people still don't like you that's don't take that personally because that's not that's not against you that's something that's an insecurity in them or that's that maybe they're um, something's going on with them and they're just frustrated and because you're so happy and because you're so nice that makes them upset I mean it, there could be a multitude of reasons but it's nothing to do with you if you are being kind to them and if you are not gossiping and you are just being so loving and kind and caring not everyone's gonna like you and I was talking to my mom about this and she was like yeah Shayla like you know you could just be yourself and someone could just be mean right back and it has nothing to do with you it has to do with them um, as long as you are uh, having like pure motives and as long as you're being kind and I just thought I would let you guys know this because if you guys are anything like me you deeply care for people and so when people don't treat you very well it's confusing and you think that you did something wrong and I'm like constantly like what do I do to fix it? Can I, can I do something to fix it? Um, if I find out what I did wrong, I can apologize and we can get past this. That's kind of my mentality, but you didn't do anything and it's okay. People are just not going to like you. The Lord is with you. And as long as you are exuding Christ and exuding Jesus, that is all that you need to be doing and all you need to be worrying about these worldly things, the worldly drama, it doesn't matter. So I just thought I'd let you know to start off your, well, you'll be seeing this on Sunday, so starting off your new week, I just thought I'd let you know that if you're struggling with some people at school or at work that are just kind of odd or kind of off and, and they're just kind of 
like personally mean to you, don't take it personally, okay? They may be going through something. So keep shining, keep smiling, keep saying good morning, keep being kind, and that's all you can do. Don't feed into their drama because that will make things worse. I just love you guys so much and I don't want you to ever have to waste your time on drama with anybody, okay? Even family members that sometimes can get sticky too. Um, just just kill them with kindness. I swear it works and, it's, and it helps you and it, it cleanses you and, and you won't have any kind of bitterness or hate or anything towards anybody because you're just trying to exude Jesus and just put that as your forefront. Okay, I'm done, I'm done, I promise, I'm done. Okay, I'll see you at work, bye. Way to park. <laughs> Way to park well, good job. Guys, so I work for a senior activity center. I don't know if you guys, um, if I have already told you guys, but I'm gonna show you a little bit of what's going on. So every Monday we have a sing along and it's one of my favorite things. So I'm gonna show you real quick. <laughs> Anyways, this happens every Monday, but what's awesome about working here, um, it is a nonprofit, and what's great about working here is I get to look out and see exactly who I'm helping every single day that I'm at work. And it's honestly like, it feels so good. And I love all my members so much. I love them so much. So yeah, just a little bit of what I do. Um, I'm development director, so I write grants, I help with fundraising, I am getting all the funds in for the nonprofit. Um, in order for us to keep going and keep doing what we do. So, um, yeah, um, that's really it. But uh, I'll show you guys a little bit more um, if it gets to it, but I'm gonna get to work. Hey guys, so I'm obviously home from work. It's such a pretty rainy fall day. It's been super um, gloomy, but I kind of like that for fall. I don't know about you. But right now I'm in my laundry room. Out. And I'm getting ready to go workout with Wyatt so I'm waiting till he gets home from work and then we always go to CrossFit um, we usually do it in the morning but today we're doing it in the evening because I didn't want to get up that's what's going on today oh I forgot my basket but anyways so I will pick up the camera um, back whenever I'm with Wyatt look who's here vlog. I was editing the vlog today babe and I ended it so abruptly that I turned, I made it into today too. <laughs> He's currently eating his Subway. I already ate mine because I'm impatient. But let me show you guys what I just did to my closet. So if you guys remember in my first Bernie vlog, actually, I don't know if I ever showed my old TV stand, but it was white. Um, Wyatt and I painted it, but I now moved it in here in my closet and it fits absolutely perfectly. And yeah, it makes my closet look so much more organized. Gonna, he's gonna finish eating, then the dough changed and we're gonna go work out and then watch my mom on Dancing with the Stars. What about my truck and how it smells? Tell me to the face, tell me to the face. Okay, I was just trying to show everybody the rain. On our way to our workout. Ow. We usually do the CrossFit workout of the day, but today we're doing our own thing. And I'm basically just following what he does. And I'll show you guys what we do. What's our workout of the day, coach? Okay, so here's what I have the cutest coach I've ever seen. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna I don't do, like his voice. We're gonna do four sets of seven on, uh, no, four sets of eight on. Uh, That's an eight? <laughs> <laughs> no, so seriously, we're gonna do four sets of eight single leg deadlift. We're gonna do four sets of five, five. on squat. squat. We're gonna do four sets of four on clean. Four sets of hyper extensions. Hyper our workout of the day, in case you guys were wondering. Okay, so four. He didn't wear a shirt underneath there.
That was hard. Now I, it is 6.36. We are headed home to go watch my mom on TV because she's at seven tonight. And I hope she does well. So if you're not caught up with Dancing with the Stars, go on Hulu because it is all on Hulu. It smells so weird in this truck. What is on your head? Ew! Stop! <laughs> I love you. Okay, my mom's going right now, so I'm starting to have anxiety. Your mom did so good. We got our best scores yet, and I was so pleased. So my mom danced absolutely beautifully. What do you think? She did great. She did so well. She um, performed Mulan. If you guys aren't up to date, please go watch her and please vote. I'm gonna have her number, her phone number right here. Um, it only works right after her dance. So if you're not watching the show, you need to. You need to tune in and vote for her every week because I love her being on there and she loves being on there. It really helps her confidence. So um, I'm gonna have the ABC Go Network or something, whatever the about the show in the link in the description. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna end it here. Um, anything you wanna say? Go vote. Go vote. But I love you guys, and thank you so much for watching another video. Let me know down below if you wanna see anything specific, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and press that red subscribe button, so that way I know you guys are willing to watch every single week. I love you, bye. A twist. I never thought it would end up like this. I always thought it would only be one kiss. One